Here are three money mistakes that young guys make in their 20s. Guys, today I wanna to share with you three things that I think are major pitfalls for most guys who are looking to build some type of wealth and build some type of nest egg when you know they get into their 30s, they're actually gonna have some stuff. So these are kind of the three areas that I think are major pitfalls. So first thing is simply buying a car that is way more than you can realistically afford. Look, I get it, we all wanna have a cool car, a nice car when we're young. The reality is that car is costing you way more than you think because if you're making a massive car payment each month, that money is going into a depreciating asset 99% of the time, right? 99% of cars depreciate. And what's happening is how are you gonna build any wealth? How are you gonna buy any assets? How are you gonna invest in yourself? How are you gonna invest in your business when most of your money is tied up in your car payment, your insurance, and your gas? A personal rule that I follow is whatever your quarterly income, so that's three months out of the year, your car should cost no more than that. So if you make $100,000 in a year, at most, realistically, you should be looking at buying a $25,000 car. And to me, that is the max end of where you should be if you wanna play it conservative and get ahead. So the next thing is getting into a house or an apartment that is simply too much money. Uh, if you know realistically I don't have an exact metric for this because I get it housing's really expensive right now But overextending yourself on your rent and your house It's not the best idea because again, you're paying money out every single month that You know realistically is not benefiting you as much as you think when you could be investing that into yourself different assets a business uh, Because reality is when you invest in yourself, you'll make way 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 more money than your house is ever gonna appreciate. Second thing I think that a, a common money mistake young guys will make is they buy too much stuff on a credit card when they can't afford to really pay for it. And what I mean by this is fancy clothing, excessive clothing, shoes, going on vacations, any of the stuff that you know young people like to buy. And you know, I get it, it's fun. Who doesn't wanna do that stuff? But every time you do that, if you're putting yourself into credit card debt, doing that kind of stuff you're making a really big mistake because with credit cards if you can't pay that off at the end of the month obviously you're going to end up paying interest and the interest is aggressive it's not not cheap especially as you get a higher credit card bill and again it's kind of like the culture of instant gratification when you can just put something on a credit card it doesn't teach you good discipline around money and if you don't in my opinion if you don't have the money to pay for it at least twice you have no business buying it, period. So that's another hard rule that I follow, is if I can't afford it outright cash at least twice, then I'm not even gonna think about buying it. And the last thing that I think young dudes waste way too much money on is going out to eat and going out to party. These two things, I mean, could easily be over a thousand dollars a month if you're not careful, easily. Uh, if not even much more than that. And I know, cause I've done it. And when you actually track how much money you're blowing on that shit, it's kind of mind boggling that you're wasting that much of your life force because at the end of the day, your income is your life force. Uh, unless you have some form of leverage within your own business, you're most likely trading your time for money. So you're directly trading your life force for to, to do things that are making you worse. So think about how like backwards that seems, where it's common, you know, commonplace in society and people celebrate doing that stuff. But if you really think about it, you're trading your most valuable asset, which is your time for money, which you're then using to go out and make your life worse by engaging in low level stuff, like going out and dr drinking excessively and eating a bunch of low quality food that you're getting at restaurants. So guys, those are kind of three money tips um, that personally, you know, I've gone through all those myself. Those are three things I would recommend avoiding if you wanna set yourself up for success as you make your way into your 30s and beyond. Because what you do in your 20s is really gonna shape how your 30s look. And if you make good decisions in your 20s, your 30s are gonna be really, really good. Guys, that's what was on my mind today. Uh, I wanted to share that with you. It's kind of something, you know, I, I noticed a common trend when talking to different people. So I thought it was worthwhile to bring up. Uh, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Are you making these money mistakes or do you not think they're mistakes? Do you think they're, they're worth it? Let me know and guys, I'll see you tomorrow.